sway bars, anti-sway bars, roll bars, anti-roll bars, and stabilizer bars, these are all the same thing and it's generally understood they improve handling. But how? Anytime a vehicle is turning, forces related to the laws of physics cause the body to roll, sway, or tip away from the turn. When this happens, the weight shift to the outside in turn compresses the suspension on the outside, resulting in a lift and loss of traction on the inside, which leads to poor handling and potentially the loss of control. The sway bar connects one side of the suspension to the other, and they can be located in the front, rear, or both. They are mounted in bushings to the frame or body of the vehicle and connected to the suspension at each end with either bushings or links. The basic operation of a sway bar is quite simple. When any suspension movement occurs, it is transferred equally through the sway bar to the other side. This effectively balances the suspension and weight distribution of the vehicle, eliminating body roll and maintaining an even tire contact patch resulting in improved traction and handling. You've most likely heard the terms oversteer and understeer. Understeer is when you turn the wheels and instead of turning like you want, the vehicle continues to go in a straight line. Oversteer is essentially the opposite, when the rear of the vehicle slips or rotates outward on the vehicle axis in a turn. The handling characteristics of any vehicle are described by the terms oversteer and understeer. This is where it can get complicated, and understanding and controlling them is one of the most important aspects of performance driving as well as new car design. Both of these handling characteristics are directly controlled and affected by the stiffness and the action of the sway bar, and the type of driving you are doing affects how much of each characteristic you may or may not want. For this reason, when a vehicle is designed, auto manufacturers spend countless hours on the track to attain the desired handling characteristics for the use of the vehicle. Likewise, an enthusiast who is building their car for performance or racing will also spend hours on stabilizer bar adjustments alone until they tune the handling of their car. As great as this sounds, a sway bar can also affect the overall ride quality of a vehicle. The stiffer the sway bar, the better a vehicle may handle, but the worse it will ride. In trucks and SUVs, the sway bar limits suspension travel, which is a drawback to those who use them for off-roading purposes. For these reasons, many luxury vehicles feature active sway bars which use an electric motor to increase the stiffness of the sway bar only when needed for cornering, and electronically disconnecting sway bars, popular on some new trucks and SUVs, use a motor and gearing to physically disconnect the two halves of a sway bar to allow maximum suspension movement. Thanks for watching.